Good morning, beautiful people. This is Tanya. This morning, I am pressure canning pork steak meat. I'm sorry, pork stew meat. There you go. I have about eight pounds of it. I have eight jars right here. Hopefully, I'll get eight, um, eight pints, eight pint-sized jars. My seasoning of choice would be garlic, fine garlic powder, and slap your mama, of course. That goes without saying, right? So let me go ahead and put my seasoning in my jars so that I would, I'm going to do at least seven of them. So I already have the seasoning in it. If I can get down in here. And I'm doing half a teaspoon in each jar, just so you know. Half a teaspoon of Slap Your Mama and half a teaspoon of garlic powder as well because the flavor intensifies when you're canning and slap your mama already has kind of a kick to it so we don't want to be so spicy no one can eat it i go ahead and do six and then we'll uh we'll do, take it from there but i should get at least six but again i'm hoping for eight I'm just putting a half teaspoon of Slap Your Mama and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now you can wait and put this in here after you put the meat in. But if I go ahead and do it now, then I don't have to try to have to remember. Because it is already done. Right? Right. Let me move this out of my way. Close this up. We don't want to knock that over. I'm going to go over here to the other side of the stove. Give myself a little room. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I got the um, my funnel just in case I need it. But I'm using wide mouth jar, so I really don't think I'm going to need that funnel. So we're just going to start piling the meat in. That's all you do. And you want to leave at least an inch head space. You don't. And by the way, you don't um, pack it in tightly. It's packed in loose. Because you do want air to be able to, um, and water stuff to be able to circulate and get in. You know what I'm saying? This is some debris coming in, coming off the packages. Let me get that out of the way. And the black packaging that it's in. Let me go ahead and do that. We might have to come back for some more in that one. But I'm just going to keep doing this until I get as many as I can get done. Oops, don't plan on dropping it. And then we'll start fresh again. And like, I know some people say, well, you don't wash, you didn't wash your meat? Most of the time I don't wash meat. Um, but here's the thing about uh, when you're pressure canning, it's under a lot of high pressure and anything that's in here, that might be dangerous. This is how it's going to be killed. And it's not going to be allowed to grow. Because most organisms need oxygen to grow. And you're depriving it of oxygen. See what I mean? I might do alright with this. We'll see. And because, like I said, because I'm using meat. The, bu the bubble is not going to work. So, what I'm doing is pouncing it. Trying to, get the, uh, trying to get the meat to self adjust or self level. And you don't do it so hard where you break your glass, okay? 
And remember, you still got to leave that inch head space. Okay. That's a big piece right there. Let me put that in there. But like I said, I'm going to continue doing this and loading it up, uh, my jars up, and I will come back and let you see how many I actually got. And we'll finish uh, loading these up in the jars and finish the canning process from there. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm back. And I was able to get nine pints um, as opposed to the eight that I thought I was going to get. So awesome. So now I'm just going to show you how we finish canning these or put them in the jars to be canned. And because we're using protein, we have to use vinegar to clean our rims because what we want to make sure is that during the canning process, our jars do seal. And if there is any kind of residue on the rim, it can prevent your lids from actually sealing. So, and vinegar cuts through fat, so that's why we use vinegar. We just dip that in there. And we're going to wipe the rim. Make sure we get that fat off, or if there's any fat. Here's our lid and our um, ring. Just gonna put that on. And we're gonna put this on fingertip tight, and it goes into the canner. Do that one more time for you. Gonna wipe this rim off. Make sure you get it real good. Put our lid on. And then a ring, fingertip, fingertip tight, and into the canner. Okay, so like I said, since I have nine of these, what I'll be doing is I'll put five on the um, bottom and four on the top because in my canner, which is the Presto, I can actually do uh, a top and a bottom layer of the pint size. So I will go ahead and put this in the canner get it started let me turn the heat on so we, it can start warming up for us because remember meat is cold jar is cold room temperature there is jars are room temperature meat is room temperature can is room temperature water is room temperature everything's room temperature so it's starting out on the same level so again i'm gonna go ahead start my heat uh start my heat for coming up by the time i finish this um we're gonna let this process and for Pint size meat, you do 75 minutes. If I were doing quarts, they would be 90 minutes, okay? So I will be back at the end of my processing time and let you see how beautiful my meat is. Oh, and before I forget, some people might be like, well, why aren't you putting any, any liquid in that? You can if you want to. Um, some people use water. Then there are some people that will use um bouillon cubes or broth or stock or um belly and bouillon you know something to, to give it some flavor but i already have the season in here and you'll see this will actually make its own um its own juices of fluid because most animals are at least 90 percent water <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are you're probably 90 percent water and, uh, and as you know, most plants require water as well. So there's that too. But anyway, I'll bring you back once I finish processing. Because it's probably going to be about a couple of hours. Yeah, at least a couple of hours. But I will see you in a couple of hours for me. Momentaneously for you. All right. See you soon. Hi, everybody. This is Tanya. I'm back. And we're finishing up on our um, canned stew pork meat. Okay, so this process for 75 minutes, I let it come, uh, the pressure come all the way down after that process. So I gave it 45 minutes. At the end of 45 minutes, it was down. It was already down to, uh, to zero. Cracked open the top a little bit, let it vent. And it's been sitting here for about 10 minutes. So now I'm going to take the lid off. And remember, this is still hot. Get 
towel so I can put something underneath it. And like I told you, it would create its own bra. And there you go. Can stew pork meat. So let me turn you around so I can go ahead and get the rest of them out. Put you down so you can see. And it's still hot. As you can see, it's still bubbling. Move that right there. Like I said, I ended up with nine jars. Let me get this out of here. This divider. Oh, and I didn't have any siphoning. Yay! Doesn't look like I had any siphoning whatsoever. That's a rule we usually get a, at least a little siphoning. You know? It's pretty much to be expected. It's par for course. And as you see, I'm leaving a little room between the jars. And it's allows them to cool down. Without being too much up on each other. Okay. Yeah, and like I said, I don't see any siphoning in here. Let me let you see. And like I said, you don't see any siphoning. My water is still clear. So if it did siphon, it was just a little bit. And again, I ended up with nine beautiful jars of stewed pork meat. And since I didn't put anything in them but um, slap your mama and garlic, you can use this meat for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, if you just want to eat it like this, you can. If you want to put it, you know, tear it up, put it on a salad. Shred it up, put um, put some barbecue sauce on it. You can do that. I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you, basically, what you do with it. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. It's a rainy day, so I figured I'd get some canning done and just bring you along. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Y'all have a, a great day. And don't forget to leave a legacy. Bye.